Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to yet another EcoFlow video. Today we're going to be talking about our brand new flagship EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra and we're going to be comparing it with its predecessor EcoFlow Delta Pro. Let's see which advantages they have and which one would be the best choice for your house. Now, talking about these kind of solar systems and portable power stations, it's important to understand what kind of batteries is it using. And here on a Delta Pro Ultra and on a Delta Pro, we're using LFP batteries. And that means that these batteries are going to be fine for 3,500 cycles of the lifespan. So you can charge and discharge it 3,500 cycles. And only after that, the battery capacity will go down to 80%. And you can still keep using it for years and years to come. So this kind of battery going to be totally fine for our coming 10 or even 20 years, maybe longer. Now, the capacity, of course, is different. As you can see by their size, it's significantly different because here we're looking at 6 kilowatt hours on a single battery. And here we're looking at 3.6 kilowatt hours on a single battery. Now, the scalability of both units is very different. Here on a Delta Pro, you can scale it up to 10.8 kilowatt hours of capacity with two extra batteries. And furthermore, you can use a smart home panel or double voltage hub to connect two similar arrays together. So eventually you're going to be sitting at something like 21.6 kilowatt hours of capacity with this unit maximum. Now on a Delta Pro Ultra, since one battery is 6 kilowatt hours and one inverter can stack up to five batteries. So you will be looking at 30 kilowatt hours per inverter, which is very, very strong. Plus with a brand new smart home panel, you can connect three different inverters like this, landing you at 90 kilowatt hours, which is massive, massive capacity, even for a huge house. So consider that, and we'll be talking more about this in our upcoming video. So don't forget to subscribe to know more about Smart Home Panel 2. Now, if you think what I just mentioned is quite complicated because maybe not everyone is physician or electrician, let me translate it into a normal language. Six kilowatt hours of battery that we're looking at here is more than enough to keep you powered through a couple of days of blackouts. So let's say it's a blackout, the power doesn't come back for two days, you can still have your fridge running, you can still have your freezer, your, uh, sometimes you can run AC if it's not too cold or not too hot. Some other appliances, no problem. Two days, you're gonna live a very comfortable life. And of course, with five batteries and 30 kilowatt hours, that will run you through 10 days with no power whatsoever. So just consider that. And it also depends on what's your need of power consumption. If your house is not that big or your power outage is not that frequent, I think Delta Pro would be a very solid and more straightforward and simple solution for the, your house. But if you have higher needs of the power, your house is big, you have a lot of family members, and you like to live a very comfortable life with all of the electrical appliances running, definitely take a look at Delta Pro Ultra. Now, the way you connect extra batteries is also quite different. Here on Delta Pro, this is 3.6 kilowatt hours. With extra battery, it gets to 7.2 kilowatt hours and to connect those batteries you would need a cable like that to plug it in plug it into extra battery and that's what you're looking at big cable couple of units standing next to one another with a brand new delta pro ultra you don't have to deal with that because we provide you with a stackable design and a tiny cable just like that look how this compares quite different huh so all you need to do is just plug it in here, plug it in there, and turn it on. And this is how you stock your batteries on a brand new Delta Pro Ultra. I guess if you're interested in this kind of systems, you're interested in how much power you can pull from them. So Delta Pro here offers 3.6 kilowatt of AC output, and it can be actually 4.5 kilowatt of AC output if you turn on that X Boost feature. And Delta Pro Ultra, straight out of the box, offers you a 7.2 kilowatts of AC output, which is extremely strong. And by the way, it can give you 240 volts straight away. Now, more about this later. Let's take a look at the ports. Here on Delta Pro, we have four AC outlets, 120 volts, very standard. We also have a 30 amp socket, NEMA TT30, which is great for RV, for boat, for anything like this. It's very similar socket to the store power. So uh, some of you might be very familiar with that. And guess what? We do have that same socket right here by the way it's not broken hey eh? you can pull it out put it back or you can just open it like that here we also have four of the standard 
120 volt AC outputs and the brand new NEMA L14 socket right here. It's very similar to the generator cord and it outputs 240 volts so you can power your electric stove or your dryer or any high voltage appliances straight from it. Last but not least, we do have our input and output port which is used to connect this beast to a smart home panel to empower your entire house with these units. Now once AC power is out of the way, let's talk a little bit about DC power. Starting with Delta Pro's USB outlet. So we have one, two, three, four USBs and a couple of them are actually fast charge. We also do have two of USB type C's here, 100 watts. And we have DC Anderson port, which is great. A lot of RV lovers love this. And we have also a couple of DC 5521 ports. Now let's see what Delta Pro Alpha offers. Here we're looking at only two USB type A's instead of four over there and two more USB type C's similar to Delta Pro. But here we keep the DC Anderson port, but DC 5521 ports are gone forever and they're probably not coming back. One of the most important features you can have on a portable power station or a solar system is obviously a solar charging. So let's talk a little bit about that. On a Delta Pro, we have one MPPT charge controller that allows you to drive 1600 watts right here in this XT60 port. And the VOC of this port is 11 to 150 volts. But on the Delta Pro Ultra, we have completely different situation because here we do have an MPPT with 1600 watt of input and VOC that goes up to 150 volts and stuff like this. But also on top of this, we do have a high voltage MPPT right here. And the VOC of this input goes from 80 to 450 volts and the maximum power that you can input into this MPPT is 4000 watts, which is massive. You can just imagine like 10, 400 watt solar panels in one array can go right in here, no problem whatsoever. And don't forget that within one big system, you can connect three different top inverters and that will land you on something like 16.8 kilowatts of solar input, which is massive. It's, you know, one hour of charging would be enough for one day of usage. So this is a very good news for those people who have high power needs and who want to be more independent and use more solar energy. However, if you don't have such a high power needs and you don't have so much space or so much budget for solar, it's no problem because Delta Pro will drive you through this with its 1600 watts, no problem whatsoever. Now let's talk about what other ways of charging these products are offering us. On Delta Pro, you can charge it with AC and the speed of charging will be 1800 watts and on Delta Pro Ultra you can charge it with 1800 watts if you charge it through this port right here with this cable at a low voltage so that means like if you plug it into 120 volt socket it will be charging at 1800 watts but if you plug it into 240 volt socket and charge it at 3000 watts now don't forget that on Delta Pro you are also able to plug in an EV charger into this infinity port right here. And this is also possible on Delta Pro Ultra right here. With our input and output port, you just need a little dongle to be able to do so. Now let's take a moment to talk about portability. Delta Pro is definitely a winner here. It's more portable. It has a couple of wheels and it also has a extendable handle right here. So you can take it with you quite easily, quite conveniently. But despite the fact that Delta Pro is a winner here, it doesn't mean that Delta Ultra is a loser because of few reasons. First of all, it comes standard pre-packaged with this wheels platform and wheels chassis right here. Second of all, for the size of unit, you know, the weight of it is pretty manageable for a single person. The battery is a little bit heavier, so keep that in mind. Oh yeah. So here are the wheels that you can actually lock so they stay in place and don't roll anywhere. So portability is not a problem here. And there is also one more available accessory on our store page that you can purchase are the bigger wheels with the trolley handle and everything. If you want to use your Delta Pro Ultra as a portable power station, you can still do it with that additional and optional accessory. And we have put a significant amount of effort into redesigning the cooling system of these units because Delta Pro cooling system only has four fans that are taking air from one side to another 
but right here we have an anti-gravity liquid cooling system and a lot of complicated and cool technological advancements if you want to learn more about that definitely subscribe to our channel because we will be disassembling the whole unit and showing you what's inside and how exactly this cooling system works another important feature of this unit is uninterrupted power backup because you know you want to make sure that whatever you plug in still keeps rolling even though there is a blackout or power outage so delta pro is originally equipped with eps and eps stands for emergency power backup so technically it's not a ups which stands for uninterrupted power backup now why because the delta pro delay time the kick in time is 30 milliseconds but on delta pro ultra we have two different types of ups's let me explain now here you can see we have a backup ups and backup ups those two ac ports they will be backed up in 20 milliseconds so that's a original real ups 20 milliseconds super good now on two other ports actually three other ports two of those and one 30 amp one we have an online ups which means we have a zero milliseconds time difference or kicking time so it's always on no matter how like you can have the whole city going down but all of the equipment that plugged into here will have absolutely zero influence from that how do we do it now because the main inverter this big box right here actually contains two inverters and they work with each other in redundancy so that allows us to have multiple ups features available to you which is very good and i'm not sure how to finish the sentence thank you both the units offer a great connectivity uh, they are capable of being connected to the bluetooth to the wi-fi and to control them through the ecoflow mobile app that's not a problem but here on a new delta pro ultra unit we added one more port it's a usb port where you plug in your 4g module and with this 4g module you will be able to reach your delta pro even in the places delta pro ultra i mean uh, even in the places with a very weak Wi-Fi coverage like garage, you know. So if you want to keep your Delta Pro Ultra and a home energy system connected to your mobile phone, you of course can do so without any obstruction or consideration of the signal strength. But if you don't want to, hey, never mind, just use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on your phone and call it a day. We keep saying whole home backup, whole home battery, entire house solution and things like this but how do you actually connect these units to your house now there are multiple ways one of the simplest and most straightforward way is connecting it with the transfer switch so you can use a single delta pro unit to connect it to a transfer switch and it will be fine running all the appliances that consume 120 volts but if you need 240 you would need two main units of the delta pro and a double voltage hub and you would need to plug in a generator cord right here and do your transfer switch on a delta pro ultra it's a bit easier because you do have this nema l14 port right here and it outputs 240 volts straight away you don't have to own two of the units to be able to make the same things come true and if even this is not enough for you because this is 30 amps but you need 50 amps we have a good news for you this little boy right here double amperage hub can connect to two infinity ports and basically get the amperage from both inverters and provide you with 120 or 240 volts and 50 amperes which is massive and basically unbeatable and we've been talking a lot about how good is the new delta pro ultra and things like this but what if you already do have a delta pro units are they obsolete now well of course they're not because with two Delta Pro units and a double voltage hub and how many ever additional extra batteries do you have, you are still going to be able to connect them to a brand new smart home panel and use it side by side together with a Delta Pro Ultra new power system. So that's a great news for existing Delta Pro users. In the conclusion, which unit should you choose for yourself? If you live in a bigger house and use a lot of power hungry appliances, plus you willing to have more inclusive more advanced more overall kind of a solution definitely look at the delta pro ultra but if you want the more budget friendly more straightforward more portable solution and you're experiencing a little bit less of a power outages definitely look more towards the delta pro 
And if you have any questions, never hesitate to leave us a comment. We'll be answering majority of the comments right there. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.